Okay, so um, remember, uh, the main reason why we discuss torque is because we have to determine or we have to find a rotational analog for Newton's second law. Yun talaga yung purpose natin when we go to, uh, when we derive what, to, what the torque is. But again, we know that the torque of an object um, causes to an object to rotate. Now, the question is, how is that torque related to um, that rotation? Paano mo express mathematically yung expression natin for, yung idea natin na yung torque nagpapaikot ang mga bagay. Okay? So that will be the, the part of the last part of the discussion, which is on Newton's second law for rotation. Okay? Sige. Now, so as I said, um, consider a, po a point particle acted upon by a force. So um, let's say a force is acting on a point particle. For the meantime, let's assume a, a point particle, and then we will extend it for rigid bodies in general. So um, then, um, the uh, uh, from Newton's second law, we have the, the perpendicular component of the force. So I can define a perpendicular component and a parallel component, like in a man. The, the perpendicular component or the tangential component is just mass times the tangential acceleration. Okay, wala tayong issue dyan. Um, we, we will assume that the point particle does um, is just uh, um, um, rotating or uh, moving in a circle of this of some radius r. And therefore, I can express the tangential acceleration in terms of the in terms of the position vector r. So, pwede kong express yan yan. So, ang gagawin ko, I can write this as m times the radial the the length from the axis of rotation to the uh, to the to the mass times some angular acceleration let's say alpha z. Okay? So ganun yung mangyayari. Ayun. So um if we multiply both sides of this equation by r, so multiply both sides by r, ang lalabas ay f perpendicular r is m r squared alpha z. Diba? So nagmultiply lang ako both sides ng r dyan. Ngayon, what is mr squared? Ano yan? Na? Ano yan? Na? Kung naalala ninyo, anong formula ng moment of inertia? This is summation i, mi, ri squared. So pag isang particle lang, hindi wala na yung summation. So what is this? So, ano yan? Na? Ano yan? Na? Inertia. Yes, it's the same moment of inertia for a single particle. So this is equal to the moment of inertia of a particle. Diba? So hence, so this is just means, eh, ano tong F perpendicular R? Ano yan? Diba? R, F perpendicular. Ano yan? Kariguskas lang natin yan. That's the torque, diba? Diba? Remember, R cross F, you can think of R cross F as R perpendicular F or, magnitude pala to, or, um, this is also equal to R F perpendicular. You can also think of it that way. Where F F where F perpendicular is F sine phi, where phi is the angle between R and F. So, hinahanap yung perpendicular component. And this is always, F perpendicular is perpendicular to R. Diba? Circular motion yan eh. And hence, we have shown that tau z, or the torque at the z-axis, is just the product of the moment of inertia i times the angular acceleration v. That is our Newton's second law for rotation. Okay, so the net external torque acting on a rigid body causes the body to rotate with an angular acceleration that is in the same direction as the torque. That is, if I is the moment of inertia, you have tau z is equal to I alpha. Summation of tau is I alpha. Okay? But again, we are talking of the net external torque acting on a, on a body. Now, yun, of course, medyo um, skeptical ganito sa sabihin mo. Eh, sir, di ba particle lang naman yung hinanapan natin? And the kataon lang na merong moment of inertia ng isang particle relative to a certain axis. Bakit siya pwede i-generalize to, uh, to a rigid body? For one reason is this. So, pwede mong isipin na yung rigid body ay composed of different particles. And all of these particles will experience the same um, will experience the same angular acceleration. So, if there is a net external torque, so, pwede mong isipin niya na system of particles yan, and since some system of particles, hindi naman importante sa kanya yung internal forces na nag-act dun sa mga particles sa iyo. Ang importante lang sa kanya ay yung net external forces acting on this body. You can also use the same derivation for any given um, particle in the rigid body, and you will get the same expression. Ang mangyayari lang, mag add yung mga moments of inertia mo. Kasi MR squared ng isang particle, plus MR squared ng isang particle. Pero, same lahat yan ng angular acceleration. Okay? Hence, this equation is also true for a rigid body. 
Okay? Malinaw ba yun? Is that clear? Clear ba yun? I hope that's clear. Okay? So, yun yung ibig sabihin nun. So, um, again, inunahan ko yung slides ko. Um, for a rigid, for the linear version, well, F equals MA is, uh, can be extended for a system of particles. You can also do the same for um, Newton second law for rotation. So, we have summation of torques is I particle or MR squared times the angular acceleration. But you can extend it to summation of torques on a rigid body causes the, that body to rotate with some angular acceleration alpha. If that body has some moment of inertia I, then this equation is true. Ito lang kailangan nyo Okay? Okay? You can also, you can think of it that way. Pwede mong isipin na um, ang rigid body ay collection ng mga, collection ng mga points. And therefore, uh, since common ang angular acceleration ng mga points na yan, pare-parehas lang yung magiging summation of force mo dyan. Mag-add lang yung i's. Okay? Questions? So, may tanong? May tanong dito? Walang tanong? Answer. Questions? Naan, okay. 